Hi everyone and welcome to a video on how to mirror an image in Photoshop. In this lesson we'll learn step by step the basics of how to mirror an image or photo and all the necessary steps along the way. So let's get started by opening up your chosen image in Photoshop. To do this go to File, Open, navigate to where your image is on the computer and then click on the Open button. This will open up the image and create a new file where we can edit it. So first, let's learn how to flip an image in Photoshop horizontally. Go to the top menu bar here and then go to Image and Image Rotation and then let's go to Flip Canvas Horizontally. This will flip the image horizontally without the use of layers. We can also go ahead and let's control Z that to undo it. We can also go ahead and flip this vertically as well, like so. Now to make things even easier, we can also create a Photoshop action for flipping your image. Creating an action in Photoshop will allow you to automate the steps quickly and easily. So let's navigate to the Actions panel, go to Windows and then Action here or Alt F9. And then let's go ahead and click on the new Create a New Action button at the bottom here. Once you've clicked on the Create a New Action button, you'll be able to fill in a few options here first. Now these settings can be useful when creating your new Photoshop action as it can help you identify it quicker. So let's go ahead and rename this flip image, like so. And we can also name this horizontal, so we know exactly what it is. And we can also add a color to this as well. Once you're finished, once you're happy with that, let's go ahead and click on the record button. And then by clicking on this button, everything that you do in Photoshop now will be recorded as part of the action. The small button, the small red button here uh, at the bottom of the actions panel will also change to a red dot, letting you know that you're recording. Now let's repeat the steps by flipping it. So go to image and then go to image rotation, flip horizontal like so. And then once that's done, all we need to do now is click on the stop playing record button and the action is now saved and can be found on the list of actions in the actions panel. So let's go ahead and find it here. So you can see here we've got flip image horizontal like so. So if we wanted to go ahead and test this out, all we have to do, so I'm just pressing control Z on the keyboard to undo that, is select your action here and click on the play button, like so. And you'll see now it automatically and quickly flips an, any image horizontally. Excellent, now we have created an action to flip the image. Now that you're familiar with flipping images, we can use this technique to create a mirror image or a reflection. To do this, we must first create a duplicate layer from the original image and learn how to flip a layer in Photoshop. So let's go ahead and close the action panel here and go to the layers panel. So first make sure that the original photo is a layer by double clicking it and let's go ahead and rename this. So let's leave it at layer zero for now. Now all we have to do is right click on this layer and we want to duplicate it. Now before we do that, let's go ahead and flip this image again, just so that it is the original, the original way around. And now let's go ahead and duplicate this. So right click on that and then select duplicate layer. And then let's rename this layer one. And this will create a duplicate layer which is identical to the original. Flipping a layer uses slightly different tools compared to flipping the canvas. Now for this image we want to create a reflection in the water which will require us to flip the, dupl uh, the duplicate layer vertically. 
So to do this, let's go to the top menu bar here and we want to go to Edit, Transform and we want to choose Flip Vertical. Now this will flip the layer that which we've selected here, layer one, and flip it vertically like so. Now if you hide this layer, you'll see that our original layer is unmoved. So it stays exactly the same as it has been. Whereas if we used the image way that we did before to flip horizontal, both the layers will be affected. So let's go ahead and undo that. Now on our newly flipped layer, Let's go ahead and use the marquee tool here and select the area just above the paw of our lion, like so. And we want to press delete on the keyboard to remove it. I'll make sure that we've got the correct layer selected first and then click delete like so. Excellent. Now let's go ahead and hide this duplicate layer for now and select the crop tool. So before we do that, let's make this layer shown again and select this crop tool here. And we just want to extend the bottom of our canvas here just enough so that we can add a reflection underneath our lion cup, like so. Now, once you're happy with the extension of your canvas, just go ahead and click on the check mark button here to confirm the extension. Now we want to reveal the duplicate layer again by clicking on this I button here. And we just want to use the move tool to click and drag this just below the paw of our original lion, like so. So just below here. And you can also use the arrow keys on the keyboard to slightly move the image by small little pixel increments, like that. Excellent. Now you can really see how our reflection is starting to look great. We can also make some slight adjustments to the reflection to help sell the image and make it a bit more believable. First, we can add a bit of a blur to the reflection layer. So to do this, let's go back to the top menu bar here, and we want to go to Filter, go to Blur, and choose Gaussian Blur. Now in the Gaussian Blur window, we want to select a radius of between two to five pixels. So let's go ahead and see what five pixels looks like. Cool. And then once you're happy with that, click the OK button, and this will help blur the reflection layer like so. Next, we'll add a little bit of distortion to the reflection to help give it a slight ripple effect. Now to do this, we need to go back to the top menu bar, go to Filter, Distort, and Wave. And we want to adjust the wave values to the following. So the number of wave generators, we want to change this to 50. The minimum wavelength is at 10. And the max wavelength, we want to change this to 250. Minimum amplitude, we want to change this to 1. And the max, we want to change this to 10. And you can see in the small little preview window here, you can see how this is sort of changing our reflection like so. Now you can see we've got ripples going vertically as well as horizontally. So we want to just keep it at a horizontal ripple effect. So let's go ahead and change the vertical to 1% and then click on the OK button. Excellent. Now you'll see that we've got some subtle ripple effects for our reflection. Feel free to play around with those values to find a look that suits your image. Now let's open and drag and drop the water texture on top of your image. So let's go ahead and open up the water texture by going to File, Open. Find where it is on your computer, select it and click on the Open button. And over here we want to press Control A to select the whole image. Press Control C to copy 
and then go back to our original photo with the line cup and then just press Control V to paste it. So now you see we've got a third layer here containing our water texture. So we can rename this like so. Excellent. Now let's go ahead and press Control T to use the free transform tool. And we just want to go ahead and change the look of this like so, just so that it fits just underneath our line cubs paw. Now for this particular photo, I'm just going to use the marquee tool here. Just delete some of the water ripples, which are a little bit further away. And now I'm just going to use the move tool again, just to move it just below our paw here, like so. And now we want to blur the water texture as well. So let's go to the menu bar here, go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And now let's go ahead and choose a suitable blur radius. So five pixels seems to be about right. And then click OK. And now in the layers panel here, we want to select our water texture, go to the drop down menu and change the blend mode of the layer to overlay like so and this will allow us to see through the water texture layer into the image below great now in the layers panel we want to set the opacity of our water texture from a hundred percent to about fifty percent to reduce the contrast excellent and that's it for this tutorial now we have successfully flipped our image and created a cool mirror effect for our photo. Have fun flipping and mirroring your own images, and I'll see you next time on Tuts Plus.